how can we write 2.9 as a mixed number? So, using our decimal place value chart, we can see that with 2.9, we have two units, and then remember the first digit after the decimal point is the tenth digit, so we have nine tenths. So as a mixed number, 2.9 can be written as two and nine tenths. Now, how do we write 6.07 as a mixed number? We can see that we have six units, or six holes, then we don't have any tenths, and we have seven hundredths. So we have six and seven hundredths. What is 5.004 as a mixed number? We have five units, or five holes, then we don't have any tenths, we don't have any hundredths, and we have four thousandths. So we have five and four thousandths. Now, here's where it gets more difficult. If we have 5.45, we have five units, four tenths, and five hundredths. But with a mixed number, we can only have one fraction with one denominator. So what can we do? Well, here's where understanding equivalent fractions helps us. Four tenths plus five hundredths, like what we have here, is the same as forty-five hundredths. That's because with our four tenths, we can multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10 to make an equivalent fraction of 40 hundredths, and then, of course, 40 hundredths plus 5 hundredths is 45 hundredths. So our mixed number can be written as 5 and 45 hundredths. And here's the interesting thing about changing decimals to mixed numbers. The denominator will always be the smallest place value of the decimal number. So here, because the smallest place value is the hundredths, our mixed number will always have hundredths. So what is 4.607 as a mixed number? So we have four units, six tenths, no hundredths, and seven thousandths. So what will the denominator of our mixed number be? Well, remember, the fraction of our mixed number is always the smallest place value of the decimal number. So because we have thousandths, our mixed number will have a denominator of 1,000. 1, so we have 4 and 607 thousandths as our mixed number. Why is 607 thousandths the fraction of our mixed number? Well, we have six tenths, no hundredths, and seven thousandths in our decimal number. But with six tenths, we can multiply the numerator and denominator by a hundred to get an equivalent fraction of six hundred thousandths. And then zero hundredths is, of course, equivalent to zero thousandths. So that gives us 607 thousandths. But here it gets more difficult. How can we write 6.044 as a mixed number? Well, we have six units, no tenths, four hundredths, and four thousandths. Now remember, the fraction of the mixed number is always the smallest place value that you have, the place value furthest to the right, so that's our thousandths. So our mixed number is 6 and 44 thousandths. Why is that? Well, in our decimal number, we have 0 tenths, 4 hundredths, and 4 thousandths. Of course, zero tenths is the same as zero thousandths. With four hundredths, we can find our equivalent fraction 
by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 10, and that gives us 40 thousandths. So that's 0 thousandths plus 40 thousandths plus 4 thousandths, which is why we have 44 thousandths as the fraction of our mixed number.